So hello, hello, Capricorn, and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Racy, and I'm going to be doing the reading for you today. It is a general message, so take it as it resonates. If it doesn't, don't force it to fit. Okay, for those of you not familiar with me in the channel, I do use profanity and talk about adult things, and I never really know where the conversation is going to go. So, you know, if you not your thing, if you have children around, just don't appreciate that kind of language or discussion. You know, respectfully, I'm always giving you the opportunity to sign off now. Otherwise, we're just going to get into Capricorn's reading for the mid-month, September, right? We've got this crazy full moon going on. We've got Saturn going direct. We've got the equinox coming up. And so I figured I would do some mid-month energies just to kind of give you some insight for the remainder of the month. Uh, keep in mind, energy is fluid, gender is fluid, time is fluid. So take it as it resonates for you, okay, whenever you receive this message. I'm going to be using my vice versa tarot. And then I'm going to be clarifying with my Romance Angel card and a Universe Hatcher Back card. Okay? So, Spirit, what message can we get for Capricorn for the rest of September? We have three cards. Oh, we've got four cards. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. So, we've got the Strength card. We've got the Nine of Swords in the back face. We've got the Eight of Coin and the Magician. Okay. Right now, right off the bat, I think we're addressing the demon in the room. I think this is about speaking up really clearly, right? Anytime I, I use this deck and I get this card in this face, it's all about removing the hairball, right? Clearing the throat chakra. I think this is about speaking up about the demon in the room so that it's not a part of your nightmare, okay? It's not a part of your anxiety. I think you know there's a looming shadow, all right? I think you know there's a looming shadow and it needs to be talked about, all right? And I think the work is being done. I think the inner child work is being done, even if you can't necessarily see it, Okay? I think there's a lot of inner child work being done. Um, and I think you're manifesting something, maybe a wish that you've had, Capricorn. Um, I'm just being drawn to the, the, well, the twin flame candle, right? It's a candle burning at both ends. And you might feel like you've been burning your candle at birth, both ends, okay? That it's been taking a lot of energy out of you, um, not expressing your own fears or anxieties about something. So, um, I'm even getting, you might not realize just how much energy it's been draining from you. Okay, these thoughts, this demon in the room. Um, be willing to take the action steps forward to do whatever you need to do, right? Because we've got masculine energies on these cards. We've got a masculine energy on this card. And it's the feminine energy knowing that it needs to be talked about, okay, with the lion here. Maybe even concerning Leo energy, right, with the lion. So, could even be Aries too, for that matter, with the magician. I think there just might be things you need to talk about, and I'm I'm hearing uh, address it with a gentle a gentle hand. All right, kind of like white gloves, like. If you've got to pry it out a little bit, that's okay, but make sure the lion is at least willing to let you pry. All right. Especially when it comes to demons and shadows. People get defensive and don't like talking about them. All right. So, clarifying. Romance Oracle. Romance Angel Oracle. What card above all other cards, Spirit, would you give Capricorn? Clarify this message for them. What card above all other cards is in their highest good to receive right now with this message? Yeah. That might be the demon in the room. Being afraid of self-sabotage or codependent behavior with you or a partner or whatever the situation is. Afraid of being codependent on each other for happiness. Or stability or whatever it is. Realign to self-love. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. You might be afraid that someone has... Um,
if someone has addiction issues, especially if the demon in the room is like alcohol or some other form of escapism. All right, and I think you might need to address it in a very gentle way. Okay, in a very gentle way. I think there's already being inner work. I think the inner child work getting done is actually kind of resolving that wish as if by magic. I don't think you're going to need to have it. I don't think you're going to need to pry it out like you think. But it is definitely a demon in the room. So it should at least be discussed at some point. You'll just, you'll know when the right time is. All right, you'll know when the right time is. Because I don't think you, if, if you're trying to create a future with someone and wishing you could create a future with someone, um, this is probably going to need to be talked about. All right. Make sure that no one, no one is dependent on something else uh, for any reason. Okay, especially if they're, they're drinking away their darkness or drinking away their demons. All right, you got to realign the self-love for this, truly. All right. Universe has your back deck closing message for Capricorn. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace across the world. I think when you are aligned with your truth, I think when you're aligned with your truth, right, aligning with self-love, and you can truly communicate this, whatever this is, in a loving way, in a gentle way, and express the need for the inner work to be done and work on it, even with this person, I think it's magic manifesting. Okay, I really do. So don't worry too much. Trust in trust in your ripple, okay? Pray on it, meditate on it, and just know that that energy is creating and birthing exactly what it is that is in your highest good. Okay, for you and everybody else involved. So until next time, Capricorn, if you want to find more of me, all my information is down there in the description. Until next time, guys, love each other and most importantly, love yourselves. Bye.